Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your Shisha Scrapper. So today I am back with a close to my heart haul. Most of this stuff is going to be out of the core catalog, which is good throughout the year. Um, during the Boxing Week sale, I snatched up a lot of these goodies, um, but wanted to show you what I got because it's all new to me and I'm quite excited to kind of dig in. There are a couple of things that are from the Freshly Baked collection, which may or may not be available. So that's going to be these enamel shapes from the Freshly Baked collection. That was last catalog and so not sure if those are available, but I snatched these up again because the colors match with a lot of the current collections. The Honey Butter, the Glacier, I mean the cream color. So I did snatch those up and then I decided to splurge and get the Freshly Baked Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cuts. I think this kind of drying rack or cooling rack, sorry, um, was just too cute and one cute cookie and life is short like the bowl. I could use with really any baking. Um, so I did decide to get this. And again, this is another one that was from the last catalog. So I'm not sure if this will still be available, but just wanted to show you, I did snatch that up. We will start, I did get some more four by six flip flaps. I absolutely love these and had run out of this size. So I needed to replenish that. And then in another kind of, I think it was a scrapbooking workshop, I had gotten a six by 12 flip flap. Um, and for whatever reason, when I looked, I couldn't find them. But then uh, one, uh, one of you guys had mentioned that they do carry them year round. So I got a six by 12 flip flap, which is great um, for all those extra photos. Uh, so I did grab that a uh, clear shimmer brush so the shimmer brushes just give a little bit of like glitter um i have a layup coming out beginning of february where i use the gold shimmer brush um it just gives it a really nice shimmer uh and you can kind of color with them or make um like splatters so i did grab that i decided to get the star shaker window thin cuts and then i ended up getting the shaker window foam and acetate so you get the foam stickers and the acetate for the shaker pockets um i could do this by myself i have acetate and i have um thin foam but i thought this was just a great option not to have to kind of work harder i guess this will make it a lot easier I then also got some more just simple thin cuts, the stitched heart, and then the scalloped circle frame. This I thought too I could make into a shaker pocket using probably this here. So this is the small circle shaker window. So I will use that for shaker pockets as well. And I believe that they do have the foam and acetate for this i just didn't get it for whatever reason um i know that during the sale they sold out of a lot they are replenishing it though uh so maybe it just was unavailable when i purchased um so if there is something that you s like see here but you can't find it on the website reach out to me and i can see i can check the unavailable list and tell you kind of when to expect it back in stock. I got the flower shop embellishment. So there are paperboard and acrylic pieces, white and pink. And then the paperboard is wood grain and a nice blue. And I just think these are great embellishments for really anything. So I did snatch those up just to kind of use on any layouts. I've been eyeing these two alphabet sets for a while. This is Havana. Um, I think it's just so cute. So I can't wait to play with that. And then this memo alphabet, I love how small it is. Um, so I don't always want large title. Uh, this could be for subtitle and whatnot. So you can kind of see the difference. It is quite a bit smaller, but I really liked that. And then I 
got three ink colors, the archival black, Sundance, and avocado. I have been kind of making a list uh, based on what collections I have the most of and kind of slowly increasing my uh, ink stash from close to my heart because I will say before I started with close to my heart, I use distress oxides all the time and I still do use them, but this, I feel like, I don't know, when I stamp and pull the stamp off, the, my stamp is clean. Like all the all of the ink is transferred to the paper by using these inks. And so I really do like that. So I got those and then I will show you once it comes this afternoon, I'm going to add it into this video, but I should be getting uh, storage options. They Close to My Heart offers awesome kind of desktop storage options. So that should be coming today and I'll sneak it into the end of this video to show you that. All right, so my storage options finally came this afternoon. So I want to show you what I got and what kind of storage options, desk storage, that close to my heart offers. So first I got four of the tool cubbies. The inks will fit in here. Let me grab some. So I kinda, my inks have been in a drawer and I kinda wanted a different option for them. So these should stack. That one still has the plastic on, so it doesn't wanna stay in there, but these should stack and give me great ink options to have right in front of me. Like I said, I got four of those. And there is a large bundle that you can get. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of figure out how to get these all situated, so to speak, because um, they all do stack. Uh, but there is a large bundle that they offer, and that's kind of what I went off of, but I didn't need I think it was like a ribbon thing. There's a couple of pieces in there I didn't need. So that's why I did individual pieces. This is the paper tray. I also got four of those. Those will stack as well. And I thought for like my cardstock, this would be a great option. My white daisy, uh, my black, that kind of thing to have that right in front of me. Um, and accessible so I did grab those and then the other two pieces that I got was just this small tray and it is what it says it is just a small tray so I don't know maybe I'm not sure what I'll keep in here but thought that was a great option and then I got the large tray and there is a divider here so what I think I will do is maybe stack it like that and maybe put my inks here. That gives me this whole space as well. Um, so we're going to have to play with this a little bit, but that should stack right there. And then that would go like that. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know if you can see it, it'll fall, um, but it'll all kind of pieced together once I get it all unwrapped and there's more um, options too there's medium um, and other other options I don't know where my core catalog is to show you but I will have a link down below for the workspace wonder um, and that should give you all of the different options that are available. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I would appreciate any and all of your support. Um, when you purchase anything from close to my heart, I definitely appreciate that. And I will continue sharing because you guys seem to kind of like and enjoy the haul videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.